In some of the programs we teach at the Option Institute, I'm always excited to say to people, hey, listen, we could teach you literally a design in which you could experience love 24 seven for the rest of your life. Nothing less, 24 seven for the rest of your life. Hi, it's Bears. Now, years ago, I used to think that, hmm, in order for someone to love me or for me to love them, I needed to know them. They needed to sort of earn my love or I had to earn their love. And that love at any time could be withdrawn so I could have love with me and then I could sort of lose it because I wasn't in charge of it. Later, I learned something really special about love that if you want love with you all the time, it's not about who loves you. It's about you loving. So if I choose to love you while you're not choosing to love me, you might even be angry with me. You're gonna have an experience of anger while I'm still loving you and I'm having an experience of love. In effect, I'm filling myself with love. And that is indeed the only way I can have an experience of love. You can love me, but if I'm depressed, I'm not feeling your love. You can love me, but if I'm angry, I'm not feeling your love. But if I'm filling myself with love and then expressing it to you, whoa, I'm making it so big in the world, so powerful for me in the world, that it actually sings through my entire body. We've had the blessing as a family uh, to have like a lot of adventures with our children, six, six children. We've had one that was autistic that um, we healed and fully recovered from autism and wrote a book called Sunrise, The Miracle Continues, and then created a program and an institute in the Autism Treatment Center of America to help other children. We have a child who has and continues to have a, sort of a heart challenge and a heart condition. So it's not like we've had six children and it's all been perfect. There's been many, many challenges. We wanted to express a sense of gratitude by adopting children that other people thought were not easily adoptable children. So his little boy, his name is Ravi. His mother had died and his father, in a fit of anger, actually slashed his throat twice in an effort to kill him, but Ravi survived that attack. When we were told about Ravi and would we take Ravi, our immediate response was yes. Somebody said to us at the time, by the way, don't you want to go meet him? And we said, no, we don't have to meet him. Well, don't you want to see if, what's he like and whether you'd like him? And I'd say, no, we don't actually have to decide to see somebody decide to like him. We're actually deciding to like him. We're deciding to love him right now. <laughs> and the person thought I was a little strange. Ravi comes to us through the International Rivals Building in Kennedy Airport with somebody from the orphanage. And we had worked in that orphanage. I got down on one knee and I just looked through the crowd. Well, he spotted me. He had seen my picture. So he starts to run towards me. It was a very fascinating experience. He's running towards me and it's like all of a sudden he feels like he's running in slow motion. And I'm thinking, here's my son. His name is Ravi and I love him. He takes another step and another step. And each time he takes a step, I'm looking at him thinking, hi, hi, my son, and I love you. Hi, my son, and I love you. Hi, my son, and I love you. And when he jumps into my arms and I embrace him, I realize that I love him as deeply and as powerfully as any of my other children. What that said to me is A, love is a choice, Second part, you do not need time to decide to love somebody. And three, you can love in an instant and make that as big as possible. Now, let's translate that to something exciting. The next time you go to the bank, love the bank teller. Next time you go to the grocery store, love the cashier. Next time you see your mother-in-law, love your mother-in-law. Next time you see your boss, even if your boss is surly, love your boss. The more you practice this, 
the more you will find it is so easy to engage. You will be a generator of love, actually for the people around you and for the world. Pretty neat, right? Yeah.